Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick um, video to um, explain all changes that I've done to my PC. So um, I had some PCs that were running Windows 10 Home and I had uh, one PC, my uh, Insider PC, that used to run Windows 10 Pro. Now I of course shuffled around some of the PCs, I got an older Dell that is so old that it was getting kind of not really working well and the graphics card or graphics adapter was always crashing and you know after something like 12 years I think it was time to retire that machine it actually gave me a good run for the price so I shuffled my uh, insider machine for slowing that I'm using and I put that uh, in my living room on my uh, 50 inch TV and I reshuffled my laptop so one of the things I did is this is the main laptop that I use and of course I have moved it from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro and um, you might say well so you did a reinstall no the cool thing about Windows 10 is that you can actually move from Home to Pro as long as you got a key for the Windows 10 Pro so I purchased online a key a valid uh, an official key of Windows 10 Pro and I've actually moved this machine from Windows 10 Home to Pro so that I can actually show you guys some of the features that Pro also has. Um, there's a few questions that I've been having, uh, one about BitLocker, uh, another one about Sandbox mode and all of that well works only on the Pro versions so I decided to move to the Pro version so I can uh, actually easily do the videos and show you how these things work actually. So it's as easy as just um, going to um, Windows. So for example if you have a Windows 10 Pro key what you do is you simply go to your settings and type activation on the top and in the activation settings it will actually you have a button called change product key. So here you see that my edition is Windows 10 Pro it's activated with digital license once you change the product key, enter the Pro key. It's going to say, okay, well, now you got to activate. And click the Activate button. And your computer is going to start working. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. It starts working and adds new features because the Pro version has new features. Now, quickly, because I get that question all the time, what are differences between the Home version and the Pro version? Well, first of all, home and pro versions okay because I get this all the time you know oh it crashes less the pro version crashes less and and is better and no for most people home is fine and at the basics except for the extra features it's exactly the same thing the pro version adds features that are um, more you know important if you for example want to log into a enterprise network stuff like that so what it adds is things like domain join where you can have more advanced connections you have group policy management so you know sometimes people will tell you oh well you can stop this thing from happening by going to the group policy editor yeah but the group policy editor was removed from the home version of Windows but it exists in the pro version of Windows so the group group policy management now exists in pro version one thing that I'll be doing some videos this week is BitLocker. I've been having some questions of people saying, hey, it'd be fun to uh, see what is BitLocker and how does it work. So I'll be showing that this week. So that exists only in the Pro version. Remote Desktop Connectivity. Only the Pro version is able to do that. Now, this is minor because Remote Desktop Connectivity, you can have that by adding software to the home version. So, um, you know, you don't have to uh, necessarily have the pro version to do that you can just uh, use some of the software that uh, will actually enable you to have remote desktop and of course there's device guard which is another feature so these are things I'm going to talk about you know there's Windows sandbox mode that that doesn't exist in an older in the home version so these are all things I'm going to talk about and of course I needed to have the um, pro version for that so it's a very easy upgrade uh, all you got to do is purchase a pro key and once you have the key then all you have to do is enter 
or modify the key in the settings and you'll be up and running on Windows 10 Pro for Windows 10. It's uh, it's nice because uh, previous versions of Windows, like Windows 7, you had to reinstall Windows. If you wanted to have a uh, you know Pro version running instead of home or, or so on, well, Windows 7 was more complicated than that because it had these home versions and starter versions and, and ultimate versions, which was kind of weird. Um, you I, all you have to do is enter the key and whatever version you're actually running and you want to run you enter the key and it will actually modify your Windows uh, install to have that new version so it adds features so if you have an enterprise key for example it will actually upgrade to enterprise without having to reinstall which is uh, a nice feature that wasn't available before so um, that's a little update here and of course uh, it works great and I'm of course on the May 2019 update at uh, build 18362.207 which is the build that we have right now if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching